Hi, my name is Taylor Willis. I am a graduate from Lexington High School. I uh, currently work at Stanley Black & Decker here in Jackson. Uh, uh, this is about my uh, fifth semester here at Jackson State in the Engineering Systems Technology Program. My personal safety commitment is to always be aware of my surroundings and the uh, dangers that come within those surroundings. Today we're going to be talking about one of three labs here in the McWhorter Center at Jackson State. We've got several different labs that we go through. Our first lab we is uh, PLC. We have Josh explaining that to us. Josh, tell us a little bit about yourself. What's going on, everybody? My name is Josh Robinson. I graduated from Humble Sea Schools. I am part of the maintenance crew right here at JSCC. And my personal safety commitment is to always be watchful of my surroundings. And a little bit of what we got going on in the PLC panel, we have our circuit breaker, our DC transformer, our power supplies, our address card, our input and outputs card, and they all lead up to this light board that if you turn it on, the light should pop up. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate that. No uh, now we're going to take a look over here at, at our robotics center. As we're walking through, you can notice some of our consortium members that we have a part of the engineering systems technology program. Now we'll see Mr. Hamilton over here. Mr. Hamilton, how are you? I'm, I'm doing good. Tell I'm, us a little bit about yourself, please. I'm an instructor here at Jackson State. I'm one of the uh, robotics instructors. Uh, right now I'm running through the um, one of the programs our uh, students have created, okay. making sure that they actually did it right. Looks like they have so far. Okay. So we have several of these robotic trainers. I'm going to tell you, it's a very popular program. So. Thank you, Ms. Hamilton. Right. Now we'll go over here and see a little more of the mechanical side of our program. We have Casey and Luke. Casey, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is uh, Casey Finley, and I graduated from Adamsville High School. Uh, I'm part of the AMT program, too. Uh, my personal safety commitment is to always stay focused. Uh, today we're messing with the uh, aligning shafts, learning how to keep those in line and keep the wobble, uh, everything like that, keep parallelism in the shafts. Thank you, Casey. Now Luke's going to give us a little more descriptive and tell us a little bit about yourself, Luke. Uh, my name is Luke Buckley. I graduated from Lexington High School. Uh, my personal safety commitment is to ensure the use of seat belts in all scenarios. Uh, like Casey said, we're just making sure everything's aligned on these and we do run through different things such as gear motors, uh, pulley systems, belts, chain drives, and just basically learning how to align shafts correctly. Okay. Thank you, Luke. Now we're going to take a look over here at our uh, CAD system that we have. It's, it's mainly uh, where we create parts and such. Now CAD is actually one of the courses you'll take here at, in the Engineering Systems Technology Program. Uh, at, and it's one of your, uh, I'm going to say, second semester classes that you'll have. As you're taking the class, you'll make up prints that make little parts like this. And, and you can also make prints that make much larger uh, parts. I believe some of the face masks that we actually wear are made from the uh, CAD system. This printer right here is actually specifically for CAD. You have to put a filament in, and that filament will create the part that you make in the CAD system. It doesn't take... Uh, quite as long as you would think like it would have used to when they first came out. Now it takes more to three to four hours, whereas used to it would take eight to 12 hours. Uh, now we're gonna take a look over here at the conveyor system that's a part of our uh, capstone class. It's one of the classes you'll have in your last semester in the engineering systems technology program. These systems on, on my left here are actually uh, parts of the motions process control class that you will also take in your last semester of the engineering systems technology program. This is Miranda. Miranda, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Miranda Cox. I'm a non-traditional student here in the AMT program. My safety commitment is to be aware of my surroundings at all times so that I can go home safe and so can my coworkers. Thank you. This is our Amtech trainer for Capstone. This is how we learn how to troubleshoot on the industry floor. If you'll follow me, I'll show you how it works. So this is a basic setup you'd see in an industrial plant. We'll send the product through on the line. We have pneumatic and hydraulic lines over here so we can get a feel for both. So as you can see, all the sensors are set up like they would be in, a, you know, in any kind of industry. Okay. So we learn how to troubleshoot that. We also have our HMI set up that shows us how to troubleshoot and run the whole system manually. So this is what you would see inside an industry. Some of our, our many partners up here, but this is this is how we learn how to control those machines. Okay. 
This is this is one of the classes that you also have to take in capstone as well, right? Yes, this is okay. our capstone training. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and and as far as as engineering systems technology program goes, these are just some of the classes that you'll take out of the five semesters, uh, and and also be allowed to work with some of these great consortium members here at the engineering systems technology program. Uh, I myself am, am glad to be a part of this program. I've learned more things than I ever could have imagined, uh, and and. It's just a great program to be a part of, that is most what I can say. Uh, I believe that wraps up our tour today. I thank all of you for visiting, and have a great day.